Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tarot Celebrity with your boy Ducky. Today we're going to be reading some tarot cards for Wang Yibo, a Chinese actor. So uh, remember to keep in mind that these videos are for entertainment purposes. And why is that? That is because we do not have Wang Yibo here to confirm nor deny that what I'm seeing in the cards and how I am interpreting the cards is resonating with him or is not resonating with him. So just remember to take these videos with a grain of salt and what I have to say because we do not have Wang Yibo here to be like, yes, Ducky, that's right. Or no, Ducky, I don't know where you're getting at with that, you know. So, uh, yeah, that's not to say I'm, I'm not correct, but we don't know. Uh, we don't have Wang Yibo here. So, uh, yeah, let's get started on Wang Yibo's overall just good old tarot reading. So let's just see. Oop, I'm starting over here. With, I was about to start with the herbal uh, oracle cards. All right, let's start with Wang Yibo's current overall energy. Let's see where he is at currently. Just overall general energy. We got the three of arrows, the three of swords, which is all about, you know, heartache. Here in the card, it says jealousy, but the three of swords normally is always all about just like feeling hurt. The moon on water. We got the moon card. Page of Vessels, very much in his feels right now. Wang Yibo, I don't know if he just recently got out of a breakup or maybe he was trying to pursue someone and it maybe the, they didn't really end up going too well. Um, but there's something going on here. Self-worth, ooh. All right, so... We got the self-worth card, little daffodil, beautiful daffodil here. Self-worth, to me, I feel like Wang Yibo is trying to gain, regain some of that good sense of self-worth. Um, I don't know if whether recently he has been hurt or if he has been hurt in the past and he's just now trying to regain that sense of self-worth but he's very much in his feels currently with this moon card showing up the moon i believe is ruled by pisces and it's a water sign and water represents all our emotions you know uh, and the moon is all about digging deep go going below beneath the surface you know of your emotions and feeling like why am i feeling this way you know I'm feeling angry, but why am I feeling angry? Or I'm feeling like I'm not good enough. Why do I feel like I'm not good enough? And why do I feel like I need to prove my self-worth? Um, so that's kind of what I'm seeing here. Wang Yibo is just very much trying to be more connected with his emotions. We also got the Page of Cups here, the Page of Vessels. To me, the Page of Cups is that youthful energy, um, youthful emotional side where He's trying to keep things light. Uh, maybe things have been very heavy for him recently and he's been hurting. And so therefore he's trying to kind of be in a lighter place emotionally. He's, he's, he is wanting to kind of like dive deep in to his emotions, but at the same time, because he's kind of like learning more about himself emotionally and stuff like that, I feel like maybe he's not really looking for anything too deep in regards to emotionally being connected with other people or with someone else. So that's what I'm seeing for Wang Yibo's current overall energy. So let's just get some cards representing some advice for Wang Yibo. Also, I apologize if I am mispronouncing his name. I'm trying the best I can. We got the Queen of Arrows, the Queen of Swords. Mind your thoughts, mind your words. We got the Ten of Vessels, the Ten of Cups in reverse. And the Hooded Man. In reverse, the 
the hermit in reverse. Darkness, yeah. I'm getting the sense of just like embrace the darkness. Embrace when you're sad. Um, we With this Ten of Cups coming out in reverse, I feel like Wang Yibo sometimes doesn't allow himself to feel that downpour, that extreme downpour of emotions. Sometimes, you know, when you let the floodgates open and you just start crying or you just start f being in your feelings, he doesn't really allow himself to do that. And I think it's just because maybe he views it as there's nothing, you, you can't learn anything from just being in your feelings, but actually you can, you know, being while being in your feelings, you can learn that you actually care about things. Um, that's why you are so emotionally sensitive at that point. Um, and it also just allows you to to see things from a fresh perspective after, you know, you finished crying or you've finished being in whatever feeling or emotion you've been feeling. You're able to see things in a different light, in a different perspective. Um, so the advice I'm seeing for Wang Yibo, like his current general advice with this Queen of Swords and this Black Kohosh darkness is he needs to change his mentality in the way he sees the not so great feelings, the not so great emotions that we all have. Um, he needs to be a little bit, he needs to be kinder to the way he, in, in regards to the way he thinks about himself and he speaks to himself. There's nothing wrong with being sad and embracing that sadness. And that's what I'm seeing, like just very much in his feels, y'all. I don't know if you are a fan of, of Wang Yibo, feel free to enlighten me on what's what's been going on that you know of because um yeah his his energy seems very heavy so let's just get a quick little career and love reading to finish off this video All right, let's do one more shuffle. Okay, so let's see Wang Yibo's current career energy. We got the Ace of Stones in reverse or the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. And the Five of Arrows. Oh, maybe he's in his feelings. It could Part of it could be in regards to his career. Maybe it seems that his career got shaken up a bit. Um, we'll just leave with these two. Leave these two cards. So the reason why I'm seeing that is because the Five of Swords is all about feeling defeated. You feel like you're having to jump through a lot of things in order to not get hit. And it's a little frustrating. It says frustration here. Like you're, he's feeling a little bit frustrated frustrated in regards to his career that maybe he's been dodging all of these arrows in order to not get hit but even then like he still somehow like gets shaken up his his core his foundation is shooketh right um so there's some instability here going on in his career life i don't know if maybe the gigs that he has going on are just not really stable and so he feels like he's having to jump around a lot in order to dodge all of these obstacles. And it's causing some instability. So let's get some career advice. All right, career advice for Wang Yibo. We got the Blasted Oak, the Tower. There's some big changes that need to be happen. The Guardian, the Devil in Reverse. Yeah, he needs to let go of some things. He needs to make some drastic changes in in regards to his career. Because where he's at currently is not the vibe. He's having to, like, jump through hoops and, and dodge all these arrows of all these, like, attacks that maybe people are trying to 
to throw at him. Abundance, yeah. There will be a lot of abundance coming up in regards to Wang Yibo's career. But in order for this abundance to happen, you know, maple, the maple tree, there's there's that, what is it, uh, like that sap and it's a little bit sweet I'm is like what I'm hearing. I think he just needs to be a little bit sweeter, be a little bit kinder. I don't know if he needs to be kinder to himself in regards to his career or be kinder to other people that work in the same field as he does but there needs to be a drastic change and maybe that's what I'm seeing maybe the drastic change is that he needs to show show up more that he cares that he's there to look after and care for people there's there is a needing of of letting go I don't know if he needs to let go of some bad habits um I don't know if he's into like drugs or if he's lustful and ha is having a lot of like sex or a lot of hookups, is drinking a lot or just there's some bad habits here that need to go out the window. You know, the devil in reverse is all about letting yourself be free from these not so great either ha hobbies or activities or mindsets even people connections and he needs to make this drastic change in his career that way he can be more abundant but also with this maple tree that i'm seeing again like i'm just seeing like maple right there's like maple syrup right so that's what i'm getting to this and and the thought of like he needs to be kinder sweeter maybe sweeter to himself kinder to himself the way he treats himself or also it could be the way he treats other people in regards to his career field um but there is a big drastic change that needs to be hap happening um because or else he's just going to feel like he's constantly having to jump through things jump over rocks and and dodge all these like attacks that people are throwing his way and it's going to c continue causing this instability that's interesting his he his reading is very heavy I don't know if it's also like <laughs> what's been going on with my day today or maybe my energy is also heavy, but I don't know. His his energy seems heavy. This is probably one of the heavier readings I've been I've done in a while for for a celebrity. Here on Tarot Celebrity. You know what I'm saying? Um so anyway, as I'm shuffling, I do want to thank you all for for being so kind and understanding that I have been overwhelmed with my to-do list. And I think starting next year, I'm going to maybe make posts and try to do my to-do list that way rather than trying to keep up with everyone's like uh, recommendations on every single comment uh, because that's a lot for me. Um, <laughs> You know, this channel is only ran by me. Like, I, so it's a little, it's a lot. Um, but it's a good problem to have. That means the channel is growing, which I'm very thankful for. So thank you to those that are subscribed and watch my videos, even on celebrities that you don't even know or are too interested in, but you're just here to support. So thank you so much. All right. So let's finish off with Wang Yibo's love life reading what is Wang Yibo's current love energy we got the queen of cups in reverse immediately just like um I was I was seeing in the beginning of the reading I just don't think he's in a great place emotionally to be thinking about love yeah three of arrows again just hurt a lot of jealousy um hmm The hooded man. And the four of stones in reverse. Okay. Resourcefulness. Hmm. What a good advice. Um, uh, good love advice that I'm I'm seeing for that. Alright, so let's start with this Queen of Cups in reverse. With this three of arrows, uh, currently Wang Yibo, again, this card sh is showing up full circle moment. I feel like Wang Yibo has recently been hurt. 
And with this Queen of Cups card showing up first in reverse, I really do think that like he was hurt by by so by like someone he was considering dating or he was dating. Um, and you know the Queen of Cups is a very feminine energy, so it could be someone with a lot of feminine energy that maybe hurt him or caused him to be really jealous or heartbroken in some kind of regard. But yeah, in regards to his current love energy, he's just not in a great place. Um, also, if it wasn't a woman that recently hurt him, it could just be that he emotionally is just kind of all over the place. And maybe he's representing this Queen of Cups energy in reverse, which talks about, you know, not being fully in control of your emotions. You're a little bit very, you're a little too emotionally vulnerable right now, a little bit too wounded. And everything is just kind of hurting. There's a lot of hurt. There's a lot of pain here. Um, so the advice I'm seeing here for Wang Yibo is to not listen too much to other people's advice. Not even my my little tarot celebrity ducky advice. If Wang Yibo ever hears this or anyone that knows him, you know, the, the hooded man or the hermit in reverse can talk about as an advice card. Normally this card talks about, you know, ignoring the advice from people especially people that have like more experience or or yeah than you but for me i'm just getting the sense that like he doesn't really need to hold on too tightly to anything that people say um he just needs to trust himself and knowing what he needs to do for himself resourcefulness he needs to heal you know aloe heals aloe vera gel and all that stuff heals burns and he's been burned. Look at this. Oh, this fire. He's been burned. He has been hurt. He needs to just make sure that he's using whatever is around him to help heal himself and not hurt himself. Again, with that devil card that showed up in his career advice reading in reverse, he needs to look around his, look at his surroundings and see like, what is making, what is, is there anything here that's causing me pain or, or are my surroundings healing me? Because your environment does impact you a lot. Um, and as I'm looking around my room, you know, I'm like, wow, my room is quite, quite clean. It could be cleaner, but it's pretty clean. You know, it makes me feel good. So he needs to kind of do the same thing. Are his surroundings making him feel good? Um, or are his surroundings just adding on more to this pain and this hurt that he's been feeling? So that's what I'm seeing. He doesn't need to hold on too much to to anything that people are saying, the advice that people are saying, not even my advice, because my advice is just just one person's opinion, right? <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's what I'm seeing for Wang Yibo. Uh, if you are a fan of Wang, Yi Wang Yibo, you know, just send him some good old words of encouragement, some love. It seems that he's going through a difficult moment, difficult point um and place in his life right now and he just needs some love he just needs people to know or he just needs to know that people are there to send him love from afar even if they don't know exactly what's going on with his situation but that they're they're there for him and they they wish him well um because you know here in the ducky channel anyone whose cards i read i even if i don't know them i wish them well and prosperity and good fortune and success and luck and happiness and joy and all that good beautiful stuff so anyway without with that being said that is it for this video remember to take care of yourselves mentally physically spiritually emotionally and sexually love and respect yourselves and others and stay hydrated thanks so much for watching and i'll see y'all in the next video bye